So, from the previous Genesis reviews, I have liked the Genesis G80 and the GV80, but I have not quite liked the G70 shooting brake. So, with this trend, would I like the GV70 SUV? Well, let's find out. Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Cars and More. Let's review the new Genesis GV70. So at the front, the design follows the Genesis G70 design language. It is more rounder than the Sharp GV80, giving this car a more younger and youthful look. Compare the design to the G70 and you will notice some similarities. The headlights are rounder like the G70 and we also have side vents like the car too. What is different though is that the top part of the grille is slightly sharper and the lower central air vent does not connect to the grille. Overall though, you can tell it is based on the G70 design language. So, moving round the side, it has a mixture of the GV80 and G70 design language. We have this sharp crease just below the window surround, just like the GV80. Where it looks similar to the G70 shooting brake is the rear part of the side window. Now, it is not the same as the G70, but it is very similar. Finally, to finish the car off, we have some very stylish wheels. Moving round the back, we have the bold shape of the G70 shooting brake, but the tail light design is very reminiscent of the GV80. Overall, I prefer this design over the G70 shooting brake. Lower down the bumper, it reminds me of the Aston Martin DBX with the integrated exhaust and fake air vent panelling. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below, and whilst you are at it, don't forget to like and subscribe. By the way, those exhausts, they are actually real exhausts. Talking of exhausts, let's have a look at what engine choices you can get. So, engine choices are very simple. We have one diesel unit and one petrol unit. Both come with four-wheel drive and the power goes through an eight-speed automatic gearbox. So, the petrol engine is a 2.5-litre turbo with 300 brake horsepower. The diesel engine is a 2.2 litre but it has a much lower 198 brake horsepower. Personally, I would choose petrol, mostly because it is only £975 more. The price of the Genesis GV70 starts at £41,000. Let's have a look at the interior. So, getting inside, I'm not sure whether to be disappointed or happy. I'm happy in terms that it feels more modern unlike the G70 and is more luxurious, but I am also disappointed as the styling does not make any sense. What I really don't understand is why do we have this big oval that is only on one half of the car. It houses the climate control and the light switch is for the driver, but the design looks out of place. I personally really don't like it. The steering wheel I do like over the G70 and GV80 however. For me, the design would have looked better if they put the wooden trim on the dashboard to break the style up and therefore you would not need this oval part. You do get the 3D digital dash and great infotainment system though like the bigger GV80. Let's have a look at the rear and see if it is like other Genesis cars. So, moving around the back, legroom and headroom is great, just like other Genesis cars. You also get your normal armrest, air vents and climate control. Let's have a look at the boot. So, boot space is just as good as its rivals with 542 litres with the seats up. Compare that to the BMW X3's boot space of 550 and there's not a lot between it. So, what do I think about the GV70 then? Well, it's much better than the G70 shooting brake, but because it is cheaper than the GV80, they have done the interior to make it look cheaper, whilst the car is using the same premium materials. Personally, I would like the interior inspired by the bigger GV80, but with subtle changes to give it a sportier look. Having the interior like it is will not be for everyone, and I think this could damage sales because of it. 
Apart from the interior note, this is a very good car on the outside and practicality wise. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.